Hey guys, it's Game Recruit here, and today I've got another story for you guys. Before I start the story, I just want to update you guys on the giveaway. So, right now, there's a lot of people who have entered. If you have not entered, I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, so, the giveaway is going really nice right now. Um, I think about over 100 people have entered into the giveaway, which is awesome. I really... Um, really liking to see that, and um, yeah, um, make just a quick announcement before uh, um, you have to be subscribed. The first mandatory thing on when you use the Gleam link is you have to be subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you will um, not you will not win. Um, I know you there is a glitch how you can you don't actually have to subscribe to the channel to in like to get those points, but you, um, I can see if you have subscribed or not. So don't try you. you use that glitch to not subscribe because that's like one you only have to subscribe you don't have to follow me on twitter you don't have to retweet my tweets you only have to do that if you want more entries but the man the mandatory um thing to enter is to subscribe to me on my youtube channel that's all you have to do that's the only mandatory one i want you to do everything else is your choice if you want more more entries into the giveaway anyway let's get on to the story and so um this happened around five years ago I guess I was the same age like uh, yeah probably when I was 11 maybe or 12 uh, we were on holiday we went up north so we went up north um, and we were we went to like a sort of um, like a camp camping ground like you, you could camp there and you could um, stay in these little houses like sort of little batches um, and we didn't stay in a tent, we stayed in a batch, like, you would have to, you had to bring your own tent, but you rent out that little area where you can put your tent, but, um, where we stayed is in a little, in a room, and, um, I was around, yeah, 11 to 12, and, um, I made friends with all these random people, you know, I can't even remember the kid's name, but, um, I made friends with this guy, and we were just, like, playing around doing 11-year-old shit, um, and we, um, this area is actually right next to like a beach. It literally is on the beach. Um, you can walk and you go. You can walk um, down into the water from where we were staying, and we were running across this like little rock area with like lots of really really sharp rocks. There were sharp rocks like poking out of all like lots of um sharp things like shells and stuff poking out of the rocks, and. We were running around. I and I decided not to wear shoes. I decided to wear jandals and wear um, or flip flops or thongs, if you want to call them that. Thongs and call them Australia. I don't understand Australians, but um, they call them thongs. But yeah, flip flops, um, jandals or thongs, if you want to call it that. Um, but yeah, that's what I, what I was wearing, and I didn't have any socks or anything, obviously, and I didn't really think about that. But anyway, we were running through the rocks and stuff, um, and I ran straight through a really sharp rock and I didn't even feel it um after like two minutes later my friend the kid was like oh there's blood coming gushing out of your uh, ankle I'm like what the hell because it was so sharp I couldn't even feel it happening and I looked down and there's just blood going everywhere and I like it didn't even hurt until like I knew it was there it started hurting it was really weird until until I actually saw it there as she started hurting but anyway it was like really uh, stinged and it was like a really big gash into in my ankle I still have a scar to this day from it um but anyway uh, my friend helped me I had to like hop all the way back um blood going everywhere like I left a huge trail of blood pretty much um I didn't faint or anything I'm not like one of those people that faint to blood or anything I don't think I didn't lose enough blood to actually make me like faint or anything like that or pass out but um I lost a good amount of blood when we got there we cut my mum got some bandages and like bandaged up just to so blood couldn't come out so we had to go to the nearest hospital which was quite far away and it wasn't like a big hospital because we weren't really in a city like close to a really big we're like in a town like a small town um, we weren't really close to a hospital as such um, but we got there and um, I could have chosen to get it sewed up like stitched but I or I could just leave it and let it heal itself um, and I chose to just let it heal itself, and now I have a huge scar, um, well, not huge, it's, it, you can't, re like, you'd have to look close up to see it, because it sort of merges with my skin, it's not like a dark scar, you can see it, it's just not very, like, you can, it's quite big, but it's just not visible, um, it sort of looks like it merges with my skin, you'd have to look 
qu quite closely at, um, at it to see the whole scar. But yeah, it's still there. I don't think it's ever going to go away. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty crazy um, experience. That's my biggest injury, and instead of the, me getting hit in the head with a golf club. Um, but yeah, that's one of my biggest in injuries. I've never broken a bone. I've never, yeah, I've never had anything crazy on happen to me, like in surgery. That's probably the biggest, one of the biggest things. Um, wasn't even really a surgery. She just gave me some bandaged up better, and she said I could have. She recommended it being stitched, but she said you don't have to. And I wanted a scar because I was a little kid, and I thought that would be cool to have a scar. Um, yeah, I still have it to this day. I don't think it's ever going to go away. She said it might fade away slowly, but it will take many years to actually completely disappear. But yeah, I don't mind. It's a, it's a scar there. It looks looks like I've been in through um <laughs> something crazy. But yeah, that, that's what happened. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. Make sure to hit the smash the like button and subscribe. Um, the, there's 10 more days on the giveaway. Make sure to, if you haven't entered, I'll put the link down below and enter. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.